honorable dignitaries, respected jury members, and all my dear friends. I, Ms. Aditi Santosh Pujari of Class 9, representing St. Francis de Sales School, Nalasopara West, Mumbai, Maharashtra, would like to speak in favor of the motion. Space exploration sounds amazing. The human minds, along with latest technology at ISRO, is currently developing space tourism capabilities, whereas NASA is busy developing technologies to drill into Rigolith. But I wonder how long and how many more billions will it require to be a reality so that the common man would be able to reap the benefits of this investment in space exploration. I fear if in case of an acute water shortage, my brothers and sisters of the poorest sections of the society don't afford a single bisleri bottle and would walk miles and miles away in that scorching heat exploring for an another source of water. The amount of money and resources that is being spent on space research is in billions and it has achieved extraordinarily little except a bit of improved technology which would probably have come about by any other means whether global warming is real or not whether we are facing imminent catastrophe here but we are definitely facing serious issues here on earth and they are becoming worse as we simply watch them they include the disappearance of the rainforest regions the pollution of the oceans the desertification of the areas of about the size of England every year. These are some of the general crises that are coming to our earth. Quite apart from the economic ones, we are so obsessed at this moment. We are investing nowhere on earth but on space. Space research is a gross waste of money, time, efforts and resources. The paradox is in our nation, the budget empowers the scientists at ISRO with crores of rupees for space investment. Whereas the sons of the soil are committing suicide just because of the death of a few thousand rupees. Instead of finding impossible possibilities around the earth, let us nurture our abode for the betterment of mankind. Thank you.